Boaters beware. Patrols are cracking down this holiday weekend on boaters enjoying the fireworks on Smith Mountain Lake. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennan is live tonight on the lake to explain what they are on the lookout for. Lindsay. Brittany, if you're planning to watch the fireworks on Smith Mountain Lake this weekend, you're not alone. Take a look around me. There aren't many boaters out here right now, but come Saturday, there are going to be thousands of boaters out trying to watch the fireworks. So the Water Safety Council wants them to obey one rule. It's going to be a little bumpy. Randy Stowe will have a front row seat to the fireworks at Smith Mountain Lake. Saturday night, he'll anchor up to enjoy the show and make sure other boaters are safe on the water. Stowe's a member of the lake's Water Safety Council. He's reminding boaters about a temporary no-wake zone to watch the fireworks. Stowe and other volunteers will be stationed at different points on the lake, marking a one-mile radius around Parkway Marina where the fireworks will be set off. Starting at 8, be on the lookout for boats with flashing amber lights to know when to slow down. In the evening after the fireworks have ended, to exit the area uh, safely. About 3,000 boats will all be leaving at the same time after the show's over. If everyone tries to rush home, the waves could be dangerous for other boaters, swimmers, or even people on docks. One boat making a wake is one thing, but two boats making a wake, those wakes can get on top of each other and increase the height of them. Plus, Council Member Jerry Hale says driving at night can be dangerous. Anybody who's been out at night knows that it takes every bit of your concentration to know where you are to simply find your way home because everything looks different at night and particularly to be able to monitor the boat traffic that's going on around you. The Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, the Coast Guard Auxiliary and Bedford and Franklin County Sheriff's offices will be patrolling the lake looking for boaters who may be speeding, driving recklessly or drinking and driving. Stowe and the other no wake zone volunteers will report suspicious activity too. Have fun, have, have all the fun you want to, but keep a constant lookout and know what's around you. The Department of Game and Inland Fisheries is also going to be patrolling other lakes in the area, including Claytor Lake, looking out for drunk and reckless boaters. Live at Smith Mountain Lake, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.